There we go, we're live. All right, um, just a quick little cooking session, making some awesome um, nutritional uh, superfoods, things to very, very nutrient dense food, um, things to make you feel good, to fill you up, give you the protein, um, make everything flow, fiber, energy, taste good, all the important stuff. Okay, so this is gonna be a very quick video. I'm trying to get these shorter and shorter. So here I got some quinoa. This is already cooked. I cooked this with some ve veggie stock and I've got a nice hot pan here that I spray with some coconut oil right before um, we started this video. So I'm just gonna toast out my, my quinoa here. Um, toasting your grains, if you use any grains, uh, will have a nice uh, effect on their flavor, their texture, <clears throat> and their appearance. So think of like toast, so bread being made into toast, same idea, right? When you go from bread, it's just soft and it doesn't, you know, it has one taste and it has one appearance. And then when you toast it up with, um, you know, a toaster, <laughs> then it has another taste and another appearance and um, uh, uh, another texture as well. So I'm going to just kind of toast this up and then I'm going to show you guys what else I've got ready to go. Um, because all the other components, the rest of my mise en place is already done. I've cooked basically everything and coconut oil um, with one exception. And so I'm gonna add a little bit of that to my quinoa here as well. Get a nice crisp on that. Bring out some more of the flavor. Fat is flavored, remember that. That's one of the reasons fat is so important. We actually experience it on our palate in a very different way on a chemical level than almost, uh, than not almost, than any other um, molecular compound of uh, food. So I'm going to spring a little bit of pink Himalayan salt in there. I'm going to hit this with a little crushed black pepper. You guys kind of know my go-tos. All right. Sit very simple. Just trying to get a little bit of, of extra flavor on here, a little bit of extra color, a little bit of extra texture. So I'm going to let that cook. And then the next thing I've got here is um, some basically like heavy greens, cruciferous greens, some Brussels sprouts, some kale, some cabbage. Um, I already cooked that off. Uh, same way, light saute um, in my my uh, my saute pan here. A little bit of coconut co coconut oil, a little bit of salt for flavor, and also to draw out the moisture. And I've got um, some garlic that again sliced up, just cooked in a little bit of coconut oil. I also added a little bit of uh, Bayana pimenta for a little bit of heat. If you're unfamiliar with that, uh, come with me down to Brazil on my next trip. And then uh, I've got some cauliflower that I'd actually roasted in the oven previously and then kind of chopped up and just got a little bit more browning on um, that originally I just tossed it with a little that one actually had some olive oil tossed that baked that at 375 on a roasting rack okay so now you can see my quinoa has a little bit more texture to it a little bit more color really simple really fast I'm trying to give you guys things that you can make quick you can make in batches, you can make easily, and that are gonna be freaking delicious. Okay, so I'm gonna take my greens out. I'm gonna put all these greens in here. I want a nice ratio of my greens <coughs> and my veggies to my quinoa, my starch. Anything that I'm using that's a starch base, I wanna have a nice fair amount of my uh, veggies uh, to proportion that, um, both in terms of the nutrients that I'm getting, the taste, the textures, all that stuff, all the important things when it comes to food. Okay, so I'm gonna let that cook. I'm gonna throw my garlic in here. Okay, so you can see, nice color, nice deep dark roast, not overcooked, not undercooked, and that's gonna bring this whole thing of flavor, bring the whole, all the flavors to life. It's gonna really make this pop. When you get a nice bite of that garlic, it's really gonna stand out. I'm gonna take my cauliflower, and I'm gonna show you guys kind of a little bit closer up view of that. Throw that right in there. And you don't have to do this with certain vegetables or this or that. You know, you can do this with anything. Um, if you just cook out, go to, the, go to the store, you know, buy a bunch of things that you like. Buy a bunch of things that taste good to you. The most important thing is it tastes good to you, that you like it. Get a variety. You want to always have a variety of colors, a variety of textures, a variety of text. Uh, I just said of textures. Uh, <laughs> a variety of, like, um like like uh, some some foods have a little bit more water to them um, you know think like tomatoes versus carrots um, so I'm gonna kind of just finish these off in two separate pans here make a little bit more space in my pan and then the last thing I'm gonna do here 
is actually two two more things and we're gonna plate. Um, I've got some fresh chopped up basil. Okay, and I'm not gonna cook this basil a lot. I'm gonna let that flavor just pop out on its own. And I'm just gonna let it finish cooking basically what we call residual heat. It means the leftover heat in the pan um, after I turn off my heat. I'm gonna toss this one more time. And that basil is really gonna pop. So it's almost like we've got like a pesto uh, flavoring going on without even having pesto. And then the last thing I'm gonna do here is I've got some avocado. I've already cut up, obviously. Um, I've added a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of uh, that pink Himalayan sea salt, um, and a little bit of crushed black pepper. You can add a little bit of red chili flakes if you like as well. I've already got that pimenta going on from earlier, so that's going to be my heat. I don't, I'm not going to need any more heat after that. Um, and as you can see, I am actually cooking my avocado. I know that's rare, maybe even unheard of. Um, maybe you thought that was something that you couldn't do, but yes, you can cook avocado. It's uh, quite flavorful cooked. Um, it adds a very different experience, and like I said earlier, <clears throat> The, having fat in your food is extremely important because it brings out all the flavors just a bit more as well. So I'm going to make sure that avocado is nice and incorporated throughout. i get everything going here. I'm going to give you guys a close-up. Last thing I think I'm going to throw in just a few, a few sliced almonds. Get those going here. Okay. Simple, simple, simple. Not overdo it, just add a little bit of crunch, a little bit of texture. I do want to get those incorporated a little bit more though. I'm just going to toss the pan a couple more times here. I want to get a little bit of toasting on those almonds as well. I actually probably could have put those in when I was doing the quinoa, but lessons learned for next time. One of the things I always say about cooking is I love it because I can get better at it literally every single time I do it. And I'm just going to incorporate all that back in one pan. Let all those flavors congeal a little bit. You know, make sure that bottom of my pans are ultra clean for you guys for next time. All right. Show you what that looks like, and then we're gonna get plated here. Leave my stove a nice wipe down. Okay, lamb. Okay, so you can see what that looks like now. A lot of different textures, a lot of different flavors. Lots of good stuff. When we say nutrient dense, <clears throat> that means you're getting a lot of nutrients for the amount of food that you're eating. Not a lot of food, but a lot of nutrients. A lot of stuff that your body actually needs and can utilize. That's what we're looking for in the way we um, approach food is we want to get the foods that give us the most and have the least amount of waste, the least amount of things that we don't actually need to consume. All right, gonna get my bowl ready to go. Some avocado on my camera here. Let's bring that back out. Okay. Lamb. Kill my heat, just one more shake, get all the residual off the bottom. This is looking pretty nice. The one other thing maybe that I would do is just hit it with like a little bit of lemon or lime to finish at the end, a little bit more acidity. I looked in the fridge, I don't have any. <laughs> but you know the truth. Okay. Show you what that looks like now. 
nice, easy, something you can have basically in the fridge and just fin finish a la minute as you need it. Good to go. I've still got one more um, serving there, so I could have that for another meal. Hope you guys enjoyed this video today, and I'll see you again soon. Have a good one. Be well.